What's up guys, Matty S here back with another video. I have my shirt off because it's hot. I mean, I live in Texas, it's like 100 some degrees. I'm about to give my hand a little bath. Tomorrow's the show. Got the two buckets here. Bing bang. Just a little bit of water. One of them is going to be one for dipping and the other one's going to be for washing off. Also got to get a third bucket for like soap water. Uh, again, I'm still learning y'all. And shit, I mean, they wash fucking ducks with the Dawn soap. Really, I shouldn't have been breeding her since I'm going to show her. But, you know, I want some babies. So, dip in the soapy water. Gub under her wings, all that shit. Let the water soak. Again, I'm trying to be gentle, really extra gentle, because I don't want to crack the egg in her. Dip in the regular water, get that soap out. Again, this water is a little warm. Don't want the water to be cold on them. You get the regular water, and you wash out the soap. Make sure you get all that soap out. And that's kind of it. You can use a blow dryer to dry them up, which I really should, but I just air dry them out. Nice and dialed that. When you get them all wet, they uh, start to walk weird, because again, their balance is off because their feathers are all wet. Look, because she's uncomfortable and the balance is off. Look. <laughs> So yeah, don't try to roost them up. They will fall again because their feathers are off balance, you know. Well, she got herself nice and scrubbed. I'll tell you that. It is splashing all over my glasses. Bro. I'm just kind of really trying to get these parts right here and then right here on her wings, getting all that shit to get under her body. All right, y'all, just got done finishing up some rugs. Now I'm about to just check on those hens, see if they dried well. Miss America, she's all dried up now. Again, she's still kind of drying up, but ooh, she even laid a light egg. Nice. Yeah, I told you guys, she was a little pregnant, so I was trying to be, trying to be dental with her. But yeah, they're looking good. But yeah, just bring her over here to the sun area. This is kind of like the sunbathing area. Uh, she got the little roost to roost up. She got some water there. Um, and yeah, again, sun, just kind of sunbathing her. When I came into the back, you just left in the front. You've been ducking all my tags, almost every one. Only time you hit me back is when you need something done. Told you if you keep it up and you and me already done. I've been dealing with five months worth of shit. With everything I'm doing for you, by the it. If you're gonna start. Alright guys, we are back home. Yeah, we got home a little late. We had to just drive to Dallas. Again, Dallas is probably like two, two and a half hours away from us. Not too bad. It's not about winning, it's about going and trying, man, at the end of the day. And yeah, I had a great time just going there and talking chicken stuff with everybody at the expo. But yeah, we're just back home. Gotta water the birds, you know, gotta do my thing. You know, make sure everyone's okay. This is like one of the my favorite things to do, check out. Cause I don't wanna leave you But I don't wanna feel this way And I don't wanna feel this But I don't see another way Time to water the birds, time to... Man Alright, so this is actually my game file over here I let them out right here during the day Because they're trained uh, There's some yellow like hatch doms in here so Yeah, there's some yellow like hatch doms in here Some doms, some garden carrots in here They just come out during the day Then at night, they'll go back in I gotta rake all that shit up it's just that molting time of year. Again, all the birds are like dropping feathers. Uh, molting is kind of like how dogs shed, uh, shed fur. Um, for chickens, they kind of molt for y'all who don't know. You got them running around doing free range. They're pretty nice. My game foul. Yes, uh, look at those doms, man. Those doms looking nice. But yeah, guys, during the morning, I usually bring out my birds to get some sun. Right now, I have the two silver quills out. Uh, one kind of getting, I have them separated because I try to make them horny, trying to make them want to mount it. She's ready to get mounted. Look, look, see, see, see. You saw that? See how her like feathers move to the side and she lets me go on her? That's because she's ready to get mounted. She's gorgeous though. Oh man, I love her man. Again, yeah, the most important thing man is just keeping them alive. Because again, it does happen. Sometimes you just lose birds man. Again, we're on live. If you guys aren't following me on TikTok, I do go live. I do water the birds live. And when I water it, I answer any questions that anybody wants to ask me. And or if anybody just wants to chat chickens, I'm always there. Sometimes you just gotta talk to some people man. It's not good to be stuck in time. But yeah, guys, I actually got some stuff from the expo. Not a lot, just a little bit of something. I got these cages. These cages are actually drop pens for kikirikis. They're a little smaller. Uh, it's two by two. Um, they're like 30 bucks each. And then I got this tray. So this was like 50 bucks, like 55 for both. I just got one of these because I just needed it at the expo because I didn't come prepared. I didn't have drop pens. These ones are a little smaller than the ones that I had. The gauge is a little tighter. Also, like the size is a little smaller. And this one's a little different. It has a little lock. I don't know why they're different. They're just different. But it's okay. They're both like the same size. Look, this is the one that I had before. You can see how big it was or small it was compared. You know, you can kind of see my hand. Um, because again, it's just a, it's just to train them, to condition them, uh, to get used to being handled. Also, it's just so that way, yeah, I could just have them out and about and just pick at grass and stuff like that. And then if you can see behind me, my dad's building some coops for his stag. And then I plan on building a storage where my breeding pen is. In due time, like we got some wood. It will be built up before winter time. Since the birds need greens, look, they're picking at the tree because they need greens, which is okay. Again, y'all, I'm still learning. By all means, I am no expert. And I just enjoy raising chickens and I have a great time.
time with it. It helps me deal with uh, depression and spend some time with my dad and bond with my pops. So, so yeah, I'm just channeling all my energy to be the best breeder that I can for myself and just have fun with it, man. Again, I just, it's more of a challenge for me, man. I love it, bro. I love raising the chickens. It's a feeling that I can't describe to y'all that don't that don't raise chickens. So those of you that do raise chickens, y'all know the feeling, man. It's just, it's awesome, man. It's it's it's, un, it's a different feeling, bro. It's a different game. It's a different. It's just different, especially when you get your own hatch. I used to get really jealous of my dad because he used to spend a lot of time with his birds, but then I bought my own birds and I understood like, wow. I understand why my dad my why my dad likes it. You know why he likes and enjoys raising chickens. Always with the excuses, same old shit. Always with the uses. Only think about you shit. I might rip a page about your book and cut out the news. You out of me. Look at him. Look at all the birds lining up to dad. They're trying to line up to dad because they know dad gives the food, so they're like waiting for him. Like they pop, look at the food.